Hey guys, so I'm starting out with Benefit Professional and I'm just popping this all over my skin to act as a base for my foundation. And the foundation I'm using is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Linen, I think. I think that's what it is, but it'll be listed down below. And so I'm just drawing some of that all over my face and then I'm using a Sigma F84 flat angled kabuki to buff this into the skin and then I do go ahead and apply a little bit more of the foundation just in the center of my face. Then I'm going in with the Tardis Pro Glow palette and I'm using the cream contour and a quartz beauty face sculpting brush and I'm just chiseling out my cheekbones and popping some of that around my hairline and my temples and just everywhere basically and then going back with my foundation brush to blend. Then for concealer I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in light sand and I'm putting this under my eyes and down the center of my face and I'm going in with a Sigma F04 it's a contour brush I believe but I love this brush for blending out my concealer then I just went back in with my foundation brush to make sure all of the edges were nice and seamless and then to set all of the concealer I'm using the MAC mineralized skin finish natural in light plus and I'm just using that with a Sigma F35 and pressing it into all of the areas where I applied concealer. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in C3 on a Quartz Beauty Luxe Powder Brush. Then to set my cream contour and bronze my face a little bit, I'm taking the powder bronzer from the Tarte palette that I used earlier and I'm just using a mini precision blush brush from Eco Tools to basically give me a nice contoured look. Then I am moving on to a little bit of shimmery bronzer. This is from Too Faced, it's their Sweethearts bronzer. And I'm just applying this with a domed bronzer brush from Quartz Beauty just to kind of bronze up my entire face. And then just going back in with my foundation brush once again. Then for blush, I'm using NARS Gilda and I'm just applying that with a Sigma F40 to the apples of my cheeks and then blending it backwards. And then for highlight, I'm going into these two shades from the Tarte palette and I'm just using a Quartz Beauty Shimmer Veil brush which is probably my all-time favorite highlighter brush and I'm just highlighting all of the high points of my face <laughs> moving on to the eyes I'm using the morphe 35o palette and I'm first taking this transitional shade it's just like a warmish light caramel color and I'm using a Sigma e35 to buff this into my crease and underneath my lower lash line Then I'm going into this super mustardy camel kind of color and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just keeping it a tiny bit more precise than the previous color. Then I'm taking this light orange shade and I'm kind of blending this further towards the brow bone just so it is like a nice warm color that stands out. Oh, I'm really bad at describing things, but that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going in with this warm brick color on a Sigma E25, which is a more precise brush. You can kind of pack the color onto the outer corner and then blend. So I'm packing it on and then blending through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. 
Then I'm taking this deep brown shade on the same E25 brush and I'm just doing the exact same thing, packing it in the outer corner, but I am also bringing this into the inner corner and kind of leaving the center of my lid bare. And then I just went in with some more powder and cleaned up under my eyes. And then on an E52, I am taking this matte highlight shade on my brow bone. And then I'm going in with this kind of corally orange shade. And I'm just adding a little bit of that because I wanted it to be more of an orange pop. Then on my finger, I'm picking up this bronzy shade and I am packing it mainly onto the center of the lid. And then I'm just going back in with my E25 and blending out all of my edges. And here I'm just taking my finger and I am basically running that in the inner corners of the lower lash line. And then I'm using the same two highlights I used on my face for my inner corner highlight on my eyes. And I did just add a little bit to my brow bone just to add a little pop. And then I'm taking an IT Cosmetics No Tug Eyeliner in black and I'm just tight lining with this. And I am also popping this in my waterline. Then I'm going in with the Sigma liquid liner pen, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just doing a thin line across my upper lash line. Then for mascara, I'm taking the Maneater mascara from Tarte. And I'm just giving both my top and bottom lashes a coat with that. Then for falsies, I'm using the Quartz Beauty Moonstone lashes and Plunkin nose on my eyes and then for lips I'm using the model zone lip liner in the shade Desert rose I think it's called and To fill my lips in I'm using the Colourpop ultra satin lip in frickin frack and that completes the entire look Really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one